Module 6, Making the Connection. Welcome to Module 6, Teach. This module focuses around the essential question, what have I learned and what is next? This week you will be reflecting on what you have learned so far and will be preparing for your first meeting with an instructional designer if you are scheduled to teach an online or hybrid course in the next year. Also, the first five modules have focused on designing your course and now we turn our attention to teaching. What does it look like to teach in an online or hybrid environment? What are some tips and best practices to successfully manage that environment? Orienting your students to the course. Similarly, as I did in this course, you will want to consider how you are going to open the course. You will want a good announcement welcoming your students to the course and providing them information on how to get started within the course. You will want to have clear materials that explain how they should move through the course and remind them to check out the course orientation. You should be prepared to answer clarifying questions as quickly as possible within the first week or so to help students get started with your course successfully. Also, this is a window the student has to assess whether he or she wants to stay in the course or not. Consider the different tools that I use to help you get oriented to this course, which include a welcomed email, welcome announcement, orientation video, and PDF, a get started orientation module with low stake assignments, student introductions, and a questions forum. These types of orientation activities are also important in a hybrid course in case students miss the first face-to-face -face class or would like to refer back to any of the materials. News Forum Be sure to use your communication tools, particularly the News Forum, to regularly grab your students' attention. Whether it is last-minute changes, the announcement of another module release, or summing up the previous week's discussion, you will want to make sure to regularly communicate with your students, not only to let them know you are there, but also to direct them towards important elements of the current module or key takeaways from the previous one. Time Management be sure to have a plan about how and when you are going to log into the course. It is very easy to suffer from a case of over login -itis. In the first week, you probably do want to log in once a day to make sure there are no issues. But you should set a schedule for when you log into the course and also for when you need to get feedback or comments to your students. For instance, if you have a weekly discussion where students must post their initial response by Thursday, then Friday might be a good day to log into the course and respond to students' discussion posts or follow up with emails to students who have not participated. The larger goal is to make sure you have set some kind of schedule to stay on top of the things you need to do. Facilitation and Course Management with the start of the course, you will want to be prepared to deal with engaging students in the discussion forums, evaluating and providing feedback on their assignments, and looking to further help their understanding of course material as needed. This last point is an important piece that instructors do not always remember. We often assume that our courses are now self-explanatory, but that does not mean students will make entire sense of it, so you will want to be prepared to react to the challenges that groups or individuals within the class are experiencing. This facilitation is important and useful as it can inform you in the future how better to execute the course online. Check out the resource this week that will give you an idea of the various tasks for instructors before, during, and after teaching an online course. Being a Reflective Practitioner it is helpful for you and your future students if you build some reflective practices into your online or hybrid teaching. This can be quite simple, such as the quick weekly reflections I had you fill out. It is just a way of noting what is going well and what is not, so you can make adjustments along the way or before the next time you teach the course. Here are two quick and easy ideas. Keep a journal as you are teaching your course about what worked, what did not work, and things to change. It is critical to write things down as they come up because, believe me, you will not remember it later. This can be as simple as having one Word document on your computer or one notebook where you jot things down. Ask your students for feedback and use what you get. Post an early, mid-semester, and end-of-course survey and give students credit for taking it. You can also post polls to get quick feedback throughout the course. 
I have a course survey that I have developed that you can use as a starting point. Pulling it all together. We've covered a lot in this course, and it should be said that I do not expect you to remember or be great at doing everything that I have encouraged you to consider. Online and hybrid teaching is just as much of a process as face-to-face -face teaching is. I want to work with you and help you to integrate as much as makes possible sense for your courses, but do not expect you to perfect everything. This is why I work with faculty through the design and development process to make sure it is the best course it can be so that when you teach the course for the first time you will be able to focus on the teaching aspects and come back to the design elements before the next time you teach the course. Also, I want to remind you that this course will be open for you to learn and return to throughout the year so you can always come back and check out the resources or search for additional ideas from your colleagues. Get Started Orientation Module In getting you all familiar with this course, it was important to provide low-stakes challenges for you to feel more comfortable with the course environment and the features being used. It is a tactic you may want to use within your course. Getting started in the course is a balancing act of respecting that students may be a bit nervous about taking an online or hybrid course, it may be their first, and also making sure they know what they will need to do in order to succeed. Module 1, Orient. Changing roles and approaches to learning are essential when considering online and hybrid courses. Not only do instructors need to reorient themselves, but they need to be prepared to help or guide students to reorienting their own roles. Here, the student may need some encouragement and direction about how to be more active and responsible for their own learning, while the instructor will need to let go of some of the teacher-centered focus to which a physical classroom lends itself. Module 2, Design. Planning and implementing ahead of time is the central key to success in teaching online or hybrid as you will need to substantively see and prepare for the big picture of the course. That planning can help you make sure that you have met the objectives of the course, gathered the necessary engaging resources, and also properly taken into consideration elements of universal design for learning. Module 3, Engage. Without the classroom as the focus, it is important to find ways of fostering engagement from students in making the classroom more than just your notes and tests put online. If we want substantive learning to occur and for our students to be impacted by the courses we are teaching, we have to make sure the online environment is just as vibrant and engaging as our face-to-face -face classes can be. Module 4, Assess. Assessment is an important piece of every course, but without aligning assessments with objectives of the course, students are left with the feeling that they are doing busy work as opposed to work that has a real purpose to their learning. In the online environment, there are a variety of ways to make assessment engaging and even fun for the students while also providing substantive proof of their learning. Module 5, Tech. Online learning happens because of technology and therefore it is important that we spend a module talking about instructional technology in the different ways it is used in an online or hybrid course to enhance the teaching and learning environment. Instructional technology should always be integrated to aid students in meeting the learning objectives or help you as the instructor achieve a pedagogical goal. Module 6, Teach. As you can see with this module, I am doing much less of the facilitating as this really is the place where you as the instructor takes the lead and do what you do best. Most importantly, I hope by doing the work in the previous modules, you are now at a place where you can reflect and consider how teaching online in hybrid courses may actually impact you as an instructor. Questions. Please feel free to post them in the questions form or send me an email at lance.eaton at regiscollege.edu. Thank you very much for your time and effort within this course.